Hi, my name is Lily and today I want to make a video about how to make nets. Stay tuned. Nets can be used for a great variety of things when it comes to wilderness living. For example, you can use them for fishing, you can make a gill net and use them for trapping, for example. Uh, this net here is a camping seat, a camping hammock, and you can make bigger hammocks to sleep in it. And I have this smaller net here, which can be used for trapping, for example, or for example, if you find some wild edibles or firewood, you can store the firewood in this net here and hang it onto your backpack or something. So there are a lot of things that you can make with nets. The only thing is that it takes a lot of time to make a net in the wilderness. So it's nothing for short-term survival, but more for long-term survival or uh, wilderness living. For making a net, you need a lot of cordage. So if you don't have cordage with you in the wilderness, you can make one out of stinging nettles. And the next thing that we need is some sort of netting needle that we are going to make right now. I just finished up the needle and now I'm gonna fill it up with this cordage. So when making a net making needle, it's important that you make it long and slim because the slimmer the needle, the smaller the loops of the nets are going to be. That's enough now for the needle. There are a lot of ways how you can start your net and today I want to use this split ring here and if you don't have a ring like this you can use a carabiner or a simple stick something like that or even a line from a paracord or your ordinary net making cordage. First I'm attaching the ring to this pole here to make it a little bit easier for me to give me a little bit more stability and now we start making the net. Okay, first we have to make a row of prusik knots to keep the loops in place. To make a prusik is pretty simple. You just come up the ring, then you go behind with your cordage like this. Then you go back through the ring and come up at this loop that we have just created. So this is how the prusik knot should look like. The next thing that we need is this spacer here, which I just made out of a piece of wood. And the spacer is important to determine the size of the loops. And now we are going to make some more prusik knots. So I'm setting the spacer just underneath the ring. And then I go up and down the hole like this. And then I come back from behind. Go around. Come up the hole again. And go back the loop that we have just created. So now we have a nice uh, prusik knot at the side of the first prusik knot. That's prusik knot number three. And yeah, we just continue doing that till the entire ring is full. So that's it. Now I pull out the spacer. And here we have the first loops, the first row of loops of our net. To make the second row of loops, we take the end of the line here and the first loop, which is this one here. And then I set my spacer just underneath the loop here. 
And with my line, I go just around the spacer and come up the loop, the first loop. And next, I take my needle and drop it down at the left side of the loop. Pull everything tuck, but still hold the line with my thumb here. And this is creating a loop, and that's where the needle goes through one last time. So, and we have just created our next loop, which is basically a slip knot here. It's not as tight as the prusik knot that we made here. And now I'm taking the next loop, like that, go around the spacer, come up the loop, pull it tuck to the spacer, go around the loop from the left side, and then go back through this loop and pull everything nice and tuck. Okay, I have just finished up the last loop of the second row. Now let's take out the spacer. And now this thing here is actually starting to look like a net. So uh, the next row, you just turn around the net like this and you just start from the beginning here. And you continue doing that until the net has reached the size that you want it to have. I take this net home with me and I'm going to finish it over the next few weeks uh, while watching TV, for example. And yeah, I think it's just fun to make and yeah, it's kind of like knitting. So I want to thank you for watching. Please check out these videos here at the sides showing my friend Joe Robinet, who has this awesome bushcraft channel in Canada. If you want to know what products that I'm using, check out my Amazon store, follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and stay tuned till next time.